Hey everyone, it's Cashew. It's time for another installment of Fiery Fridays, where I review hot sauces and I occasionally sprinkle in spicy snacks and food that packs the heat. And this week, it's a spicy snack. And let's see if I can show it to you. It's called Ghost Stick by CountryMeats.com. And this was sent to me by Scott and Tracy, who are supporters and friends of the channel. And in fact, Scott designed one of my t-shirts in my Teespring account, so check that out. And Scott had told me about this uh, ghost fire and told me how good it was. And uh, he sent this to me a few days ago, and I thought I would share it with you. The ingredients are your typical kind of a, like a beef, like a Slim Jim kind of a thing, except it has a little bit of heat added to it. It has, uh, let's see if I can read it, pork, water, spices, including... Habanero pepper, salt, dextrose, natural smoke flavor extract, and starter culture. What else does it have here? Um, sodium glutamate, uh, spice extracts, which are, let's see, ghost pepper, and... Let's see, it also has sodium nitrate. So <clears throat> it's a lot like just your regular, like a Slim Jim type, but it's supposed to carry some heat to it. And it says it's made with one of the hottest peppers on earth, which would be the ghost pepper, also known as the boot jalokia. So let's crack this open and see what it's like. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't smell spicy at all. <clears throat> it smells, uh, smells good, actually. It smells better than your average, like, Slim Jims you get. It doesn't smell as uh, processed. So let's, let's see how it tastes. Tastes like a, <clears throat> just a regular Slim Jim. Tastes a little bit better than a Slim Jim, actually. Doesn't taste as processed. Kind of tastes like a uh, hamburger that's been cooked uh, rare. You know, it doesn't taste like it's um, <clears throat> overly cooked. And really had no spice at all until like the very very end and I can taste just a little bit of heat in the back of my throat uh, it's not bad I mean it tastes very good I don't really taste any smoke Per se, maybe a, just a hint. It does have kind of like that greasy coating on my tongue that you get when you when you eat kind of a processed food like this. But but it's better than your average processed food. This is definitely a, a nice a nice snack. I think if you're not a chili head, you might find it to be a little hot, maybe. Um, for myself, I'd say I'd give it a, a one or a two uh, on the heat scale. And, but I'm used to this. I mean, I did the nitro gummy bear a while back, so you know, it's nothing compared to that, and or uh, the end where it has extract. This doesn't have extract. This just has habanero and uh, ghost pepper. And ghost pepper is actually on the bottom of the list, so that means there's not that much in uh, this. This other than probably to give it a little bit of extra heat, but there's more habanero in this than than uh, 
ghost pepper, but they call it the ghost fire stick because um, I, I think ghost peppers sound a little more intimidating. But this is actually a very good snack. Now I would definitely get this again, actually. This would be good on a trip. Because it does give a little bit of flavor. Now I'm looking at this. And I don't see any specks of pepper in it. I mean, this is a very processed uh, snack, but... very tasty and you probably can't see this I'll show you anyway it's a, a skeleton with fire coming out of its mouth carrying a uh, <clears throat> fishing pole with a fish skeleton at the bottom of it so let me see if I can I don't think I can show that I don't think it'll probably won't pick up but it's not bad I mean it's very good I don't see any any uh, nutritional facts on it. I don't see any sodium levels or calories or sugar or anything like that. Of course, it's a beef stick. You're not, you know, it's one of those Slim Jim type snacks. You're not going to really, if you're eating these, you're not really worried about nutritional value anyway, I guess. And it was a uh, one ounce. And if you want to try to check this out, go to www.countrymeats.com and their 800 number is 1-800-277-8989. <clears throat> and check it out yourself. It, at the very least, it's, it's very tasty, uh, very good. I felt just a little bit of spice at the end. It had kind of a finish of, of spice in the back of my throat, but it really not much of spice as, as far as I'm concerned for me, but I think if you're a non-chili head, um, you might find a little bit of bite to it. But yeah, this was very good, and I like it. And hopefully you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. In the description box down below, I'll have links to my PayPal, my Patreon, if you'd like to contribute to the channel. And I will also have a link to my Teespring, if you'd like to get a Cashew Paw t-shirt, tote bag, or a coffee mug. So, until next time everyone, this is Cashew, signing off.